Hello James, welcome back, welcome back to another video. And as you guys can see from the title of this video, I'll be discussing the difference between a core canvas and a block canvas. And for the purpose of this video, I've decided to uh, term, uh, use these terms um, as separate things. They're not entirely uh, different, but I'm using them as um, separate uh, ideas. Right, right. So we have what I call here a block canvas canvas and we have over here a cork canvas right and you're wondering what is the difference so if you are making wigs this video is for all um the people ladies and gents who are into wig making right if you're starting out of business and you don't know what to buy you definitely need to invest in these um canvases right so your block canvas is a size 22 and i want you guys to have a look at this this cork canvas is also size 22 right they're both the same size, right? Right? And you're wondering, what is the difference? Like, what is the significant difference between these two? If we first start off with our block canvas, if you have a look at your block canvas, um, it's got like more of a, a very elongated, um, flat kind of structure, right? Does this look like a real representation of a human head? Does it? Right? I'm giving you the side profile, the front and the back. Does it? no it absolutely does not if you have a look at the cork at the cork canvas i'm going to give you a side profile look at the back it's got that curve right it's got that arch which you'd actually find in a normal you know standard person's head this seems like a more of a real representation of a human head structure right and if you have a look at this if you are going to be taking uh, measurements from your clients. I'm assuming we are making custom made wigs and you're transferring your measurements onto this core canvas. Which, not core canvas, or on these canvases, sorry, which head would you, oh my, sorry, camera tilted over there. I just had to fix that. Which head would yield better results? If you have a look at this, if I'm transferring custom made, um, if I'm taking measurements off of my client and I want to make a custom made wig, which wig head would yield like the best wig at the end right it would be your core canvas why do i say that this is more of a representation of a real human head all right the size of it and the make like i said it's got the corners of there and it represents like your arch the back of your head more better rather than this right so also let's have a look Let, let's discuss the make this core canvas is very heavy, guys. It feels like a real head. I'm not going to lie. This is heavy. It's got a bottom base finish. It's got like a brown lining on there and like a black finish. This has a plastic structure finish and it's much lighter. This is very, very, very light. It doesn't feel like a real head. It may look somewhat like a head, but it does not feel like a real head. Let us also discuss like the material of it. So this feels like it's somewhat like... I don't want to say soft, but it, it it feels like it's you can mold it, right? I don't want to say moldable because <laughs> that's not even a word, right? But it's almost like you feel like it's it's got some kind of pressure. It's almost like a real head, right? Right? If I have a look at this, this is hard. This is really really hard, right? This this feels like an empty. It's, it, it, it's it's empty on the inside i don't know what it's like i don't want to call it a can right but it, it, it's empty and it's very hard it doesn't feel like a real head and also that texture is so important for when you are going to be using your wig t pins which i'm going to draw up now now for you guys to see and actually um securing your um wig cap down and your actual and your actual hair bundles right so what else i want do i want to discuss this was 600 rand i got this for 600 rand right like i said this is much heavier and it's a higher quality this i got for 200 rand right and you can get this literally at any of the stores it's harder to find these it's harder to find these and you these usually come as i think gigs you can you, you get the ones that are have gigs over there which are also really a uh, good brand so wh why did i why did i want to show you the difference if you're going to be making wigs and you choose to make a wig or transfer wig measurements 
onto this. You're gonna make a wig either that does not fit properly, it will either sit on the top, or if you don't know where to stop, you're gonna make a wig that literally goes over, but it will not fit, okay? This is a no-no. What would I use my block canvas for? I'd use my block canvas for modeling my, my wig unit after making it. I'll take it off of this and model it over here and take like nice pictures. I'd also use this for styling. Uh, some even use this for just like coloring uh, uh, coloring the hair but I would never use this for transferring wig measurements and actually sewing my customers uh, wig all right this over here some people also cover in uh, plastic wrapping I think it's to avoid making permanent um, marking lines on the actual uh, core canvas and also maybe for just to keep it like clean so yeah this is the difference so what else do you need for your wig making so i have an mp cell uh, sewing machine so i've got myself this mp cell sewing uh, kit if you have like a singer if you have a brother's machine you'd obviously buy some I, i'd recommend that you buy like the matching products because they they're compatible right they're made to work together right you'd also need like your sewing machine uh not just your sewing machine as well as measuring tape I'll do a separate video on how to get the accurate measurements for your clients and on yourself, right? To measure the circumference of your head from the top of your head to uh, your nape and from your temples, etc. I just got a wig cap. Just want to show you guys something. I hope I'm putting this on right. This is the back. Let me just line that up. So this is a normal wig cap, right? People prefer to use dome um, dome caps and not these necessarily to make wigs and sew wigs. You need wig teepins. So these are very important. And back to this, I feel like with this kind of, of canvas, you're able to pierce these wig teepins into the structure. And as I said, it's heavy. I feel like there's something inside there to make it feel like a real head. I This you can still pierce, but this it's not ideal guys this is not ideal you'd use your wig teepins more on this and um it will last longer like i said it's made to um cater for your piercing of uh wig teepins you'd also need like chalk to draw guidelines on your let me put it over there to draw guidelines on your wig cap for when you're about to actually sew your hair bundles down onto the wig cap i hope that was useful i hope you now know the difference between a core canvas is what is what we actually want you guys to buy this is what you need to have right prioritize this if you're going to be making wigs do not do not make wigs using a block canvas you will not come out right you'll not be happy your clients won't be happy and we will all not be happy because no one is going to be making money girl if you are selling wigs that don't fit okay make sure that you get the right thing and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to my channel until next time